control Z. Okay, we're live now. Hello, Kalin. Uh, Kalin Stefanov. Is that correct? <laughs> it's close to being correct. Which, so, which, I'd say it's fine. Which, which part did I get wrong? Your first name or your surname? Or maybe both of them. Oh, but, God. Uh, Enough, so I'll let this go. <laughs> no, you tried to teach me already. It's Kalin. 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 Uh, Kalin. Okay. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Hi. And the last name would be just Stefanov. Stefanov. Okay. As simple as that. Okay, great. Um, hey, mate, it's really nice to get you on uh, my channel. Thank you for agreeing to join. Yeah, thanks for that too. So, we've recently started talking to each other after we had some disagreements in the the strategy forum on Facebook, isn't it? Is that how it started? I forgot. I, I, I think so. It must be right. Yeah, I think so. Like, um, you had a few views on some positions and in the end we're like, oh, let's play each other. And we've had a few games where you've been very nah, lucky. You made a post. You made a post. Uh, does anybody want you to play? Want to play you with real dice? And I sent you a message. Come on, let's do it. Yeah. That's what I remember, at least. No, that that's true as well. But in the lead up to that, we had been commenting a bit on the different positions, um, and we. Right. That, that, that could well be right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you took up my offer to play and we've had a few games, but you've been very lucky against me, haven't you? <laughs> First time I was very lucky, second time I was very good. Uh, okay, all right, I'll, I'll accept that. So, um, you're very interesting to me because you're quite a young man, you're only 19 years old, and there's not a lot of younger people in our community can I ask, how have you become part of the community at such a young age? What's your story? Well, I used to play maybe a few years ago. It started with my father showing it to me. Then uh, I basically forgot about backgammon for a good time. And uh, when I moved to Germany, that was one year ago, I saw there are some tournaments in the area. I went to one or two and I just thought I can start playing more of that and okay. also there's fish in the area so it's always good to do some fishing <laughs> if okay. you know what I mean yeah, yeah, so you consider yourself a bit of a shark depends if I play the sharks then I'm the fish but, Okay. Uh, when I look at them good then I may be the shark yeah, okay so where do you come from originally? Bulgaria. Bulgaria, okay. So, uh, backgammon, it's a traditional game for Bulgarian people? or I could say so, but uh, it's uh, very much, much uh, more popular without the Dublin Cube. So, they tend to play, just roll the dice and move the checkers, basically, yeah. without the... The what what's uh, backgammon called in Bulgarian? Tabla. Tabla. Yeah, it's uh, the same in in Turkey. So it's no. Everybody from Turkey will recognize the word. Oh you, oh, you said I thought you said tabla. You you meant tavla. It's yeah. That's the difference. That's the difference. In Bulgarian, it's tabla with. But it's basically the same thing. So yeah, it, I tend to say it's the same thing. Uh, it's tavla in Turkey. In Greece, yeah. in Greece and Cyprus, it's tavli. Um, I know Romanians call it table. So yeah, all quite yeah, some comes from one thing, obviously. Ah, uh, okay. So when if I ever go to Bulgaria and I want to play, I just have to ask someone. Do you want? Do you play tabla? And they'll know what I mean, then, yeah. Probably if they speak English. But tabla is the Bulgarian word, so they should understand yeah, that. But they will, 
they may not understand the question part. Ah, fair enough. Is there a German word for the game? No, nah, not really. It's just backgammon. Oh, okay. All right. We must talk to Rainer or Dirk or one of the big German players and tell them they need to come up with their own word for backgammon in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they should. <laughs> so, do you have any ambitions in backgammon, or do you just play for the enjoyment? Mm, that's a good question, and it's probably somewhere in between. Okay. Because I'm certainly not becoming uh, someone who will live from backgammon because that's impossible and it requires you to have uh, a lot of starting budget. But uh, getting to play at uh, somewhat of a good level can be something that I would like to to get to, to achieve and probably even I would say a short uh, time but uh, it's hard to combine it when I'm also playing pool with uh, real real ambitions in there so yeah basically somewhere in between yeah I was about to touch on that that backgammon's not the only love of your life you you're a very good uh, pool player correct yeah that's quite correct okay so do you, you just split your time between the, your two interests then or do you have other things like poker maybe <laughs> poker no that's not my thing okay. you know, i've played sometimes just for short for short money just for uh excitement stuff and but it's not uh my thing certainly but uh it's uh, even harder to to uh, um, get backgammon in the time I have because I'm also working as a waiter, so that takes up uh, time reasonably. Yeah. And then uh, most of the free time would go to pool, to mental pool preparation and similar stuff. And then just what's left goes to backgammon. Okay. And when a day has only 24 hours, that makes it not so nice. Yeah, not so easy to do everything. Yeah, exactly. Uh, good good thing you're a natural at backgammon then. Eh? You don't have to study too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I would study, it would be better. Yeah, well, when we talk on the forum and discuss different positions, this is a way of studying and opening our eyes so yeah and we're going to play a match together now so i look forward to that um you're going to talk at the appropriate times when you feel like you've got a choice and you might tell us what you're thinking in that moment um yeah. so i think we can get started with that we'll just play this little seven point match i'm just going to do some administration bits here um, you don't have to do anything your side. I'm just going to get rid of this uh, window on OBS okay. so that the board will remain. Um, yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, so I'm going to roll the dice. Um, blue is for blue and the, the white will be like the golden one. So it's 4-3 to blue. So that means it's my opening roll. And you're not going to get the dice in, in the picture? Um, you can't see them, but they're here on the on the OBS. They'll be on the video, but you can't see ah, them. Ah, okay, they will be on the video, okay. Yeah, so the, okay. the people watching can see the dice, definitely. Okay. Okay, mate, so 4-3, I'm just going to play 2 down, and then I'm sure you want me to roll. It's too early to cube. So three three and I had I think almost the exact same three three two days ago in my gambling game and I actually posted it and I didn't hit that time. This time I will hit and bring the back checker also up. Okay, fair enough. 
so I roll a 3 2 so if I come in with the 2 then I can return fire the problem is that because you've got your check on the four point many rolls that you make will hit me back so I need to think if that's what I want to do what are my alternatives I could come in here and hit you there then it's a few less like return shots or I leave you alone and just make an advanced anchor okay so I've got I've got a few options um, which one do I feel is the right one because it's early in the game so much can happen I don't think there's a right or wrong answer at this moment well I would certainly hit on uh, the 10 point you'd hit on the 10 point yeah because uh, the anchor there is not really the one I would like to make you have a better opportunity to make uh, the bar point or the five you mean I mean my my five and uh, hitting on the four could be a good option indeed but uh, I think that actually it leaves more shots and that, that the hitting on the ten also brings another builder down which could be helpful in a few rows mm. so I would hit on the ten okay um, I'm, I'm sure XG will agree with you we'll we'll find out at the end of the match but um, I'm, I'm actually going to go with this play okay I will roll the dice okay so you've got a 6-1 to play 6-1 well I don't look to have a better option than making the bar point so okay that's what I will do ah that's why you wanted me to hit you on the 10 so that when you get 1-6 you can hit me back you see, I dodged your plan. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you would roll 1-6. <laughs> but I take, I take myself making the bar point good enough anyway. So I got a 5-3. Yeah, so I think this is a double hit opportunity. Agreed. So you've got 5-2 now, so you miss me. That's a forced move for you. You're good enough to do anything. I've now got a 4-1. That's quite an interesting roll. I think I'm going to make my 4 point and hit you on the 5 point. Yeah, that's the same I would do. Would you like me to roll for you? Yes. So, 4-6. You fanned. Wow. Beautiful. Those bloody rigged dice. <laughs> Ah, it's, I mean, I've got three checkers back. You've got the bar point. It's too early to cube, so I'm going to roll. Double four. Okay. Double four. So, this is going to be two of them, and this is going to be the other two. All right, let's see what you roll now. Six, two. That's another fan. I could be too good here, so I'm not going to cube you yet. I'm going to roll. You're very likely too good. I'm going to roll again, so I've got a 3 3 now. So I want to maximize my builders for the three points, so this will be two of them. That will be another one. And I don't need to, I don't need that checker there, so I'll move him there. Can I roll for you? Yes. Okay. Remember, you can click the dice as well to help me, yeah? Yeah, but I think it's better that you roll unless I say wait. Okay. Is, right. that, is that okay for you? I, that's fine with me. Not a problem. Okay. So now, what do I do here? See, these ones are a bit trapped. So logic says get two out but I wouldn't mind putting this one here for my six because it gives me more building options 
and then I can just play the five there. So I'm torn between escaping. Well, I would certainly get the one from the 22 point out, and then I would consider moving it further to the 11 or taking the one of the 21. And in the end, I would probably stick with uh, taking two off, taking two out of the out of my board. Yeah. My terminology is not perfect. Yeah, I understand. I understand clearly what you're saying. But yeah. you you do you do see why I feel like bringing that checker there because it I'm trying to blitz you, and on the ten point that checker is not working for me. I get your point, but I wouldn't uh, do the, I wouldn't do that move because you still need to get this over the twenty-two, and uh, not that it's very likely. But if you roll, for example, double fives or double fours in the next row or two, that messes you up a bit. That's that's a very good. Uh, that's a very good point. Okay, I'll, I'll accept that advice. Five six, you fan again. That's no good. Well, if you know I would always fan, then it doesn't matter what you play. <laughs> Look, now I roll five one. I could have made the three point. You can also make it next row. I could. Uh, five and one, okay. At least now sixes will cover the three point. Four, two, you're fanning more. Four, three. So, that does not help me. So I'll do this. Three, four, so you're in with one of them. Four six for me. I think I've got to hit you. Definitely, I've got to hit you. It's double six for you. Not helpful at this moment. Should have been the opposite side. Six three. So I can escape that one, which is nice for me, and play it on so that I don't get trapped with like a double four. Five six, no good for you. Five six for me. I think six there and five there. That gives me good options for the one point. At least your PR will be good because you're not making any moves. Yeah, and I think you just made a mistake the previous move with the six five because you left uh, your double force working not good okay but it's worked out okay I've, I've I've achieved it will work out in most cases but you should still in my opinion think about these things that you don't leave uh, an unnecessary bad row when you don't need to leave one yeah that's fair enough yourself. that's fair enough so as long as you don't get a shot I've got a very likely gammon win here. By the looks of it. If XG punishes me for not having cubed you earlier, I'm going to be very upset. Because I felt I was too good. So I don't think I've missed any cubes. Yeah, in my opinion... Uh, until one point, you it was a no double, then you rolled double fours, and you went straight into too good, and never back. I, I think you're right. I hope so, at least. Oh, this changes things. That may be nice, unless I enter with both. Oh, wait, that's me. Oh my god, I thought that was you. So, you've got some chance to save the gamma. Not much, but some chance. At least I can clear in peace now. I don't have to worry about you. 
you're out of my hair for now I don't even have hair <laughs> no, I don't. fives oh very nice that makes things much yeah, more that looks certain like a gammon. yeah would you like to resign instead of playing it out yes okay that's easy enough to do then we don't have to waste time Okay. Yeah, so, so I played the better PR because I didn't play. <laughs> and I, I made a few errors according to the bot. So Yes. Alright. Next game, let's see. So you win this roll. And at six four you always have three options. And that's the one that I tend to use instead of running which is not my thing basically or making the two point which is also not my thing but certainly at uh, my back button is not working can you get this back for me please um we've lost it we've can lost you get it. it back yes <laughs> yes yes i'll get i'll get it back for you um, it's the right move though according to xg <laughs> well, it's not my move, though. Uh, just hold on before you move things. Yep. Right, so you wanted to play six and four, is that right? Yeah, that's exactly what I... So what I wanted to say is that uh, at any normal score, so that's with not big difference, that's what I play. Okay, so if you were on a Crawford game, you might play something slightly different. Yeah, and if I'm with a big lead, I will probably run. And if I'm far behind, then I'll make the two point. But that's really not what I usually do. So 5-1 is now obvious for me. Yeah, fair enough. Come on! You won't Beautiful. believe it. Beautiful. Oh. Roll the dice, please. And now you get a nice to make your five point. Yep. These live. Now you find again. These live dice, honestly, they are so bad. No, I can't give you a shot. I can't. I'll play behind you. Okay, roll the dice, please. Double sixes. Well, I'll certainly make my bar point first of all. And now I could get this one to safety to the five points. And I think that's what I will do. Okay. It looks quite nice. Then I would have the chance to move this. But you also are preventing me moving checkers easily from my midpoint by staying there. Yeah. So, certainly that. 6-3. That's a nice roll. That's a nice roll for me. Yet, in my opinion, you played it quite wrong. I would have anchored up and uh, left the shot with the six at the at your bar point. That's what I would have done. Okay. Now, maybe I can consider cubing and I will actually turn the cube. Okay. Okay. I'll take this one. I'll take it. 6 2 for you. Hmm. That's an interesting one. And basically, I have two options leaving you only four shots. 
leaving you a bit more and gaining control in case you miss me. And I think this should be the better move because I also get some gallons in there. But on the other side, if you do hit me, that's not nice for me because I also have this one other blood here that you could pick up. And also because the cube is at you. So I'll give it a good thought again. And this is not nice from the side that I still need to get this checker from the 20 point around. Huh. What would you do? What would I do? I'd probably do this play myself. Um, because one thing you didn't think of with the other play is I do have a four point board. So if I manage to hit you on the four point after you've slotted, you might not come in for a while, which would give me some breathing room. So Although I, I still have 20 entering numbers on a four point board and you have no builders to make another point. Hmm. I think I'll go with the hitting play, but I'm certainly not convinced which is right, so that's what I'm looking forward to, to see. So yeah, I'll play this one. Okay, cool. One and six. That is awful. That's good. I like it. Five and one. Okay, my one is certain and my five is also certain. Double one, okay. So, this will be two of them. Ah. If I were you, I'd just anchor on the 22 point. Tons of reasons, basically. It uh, gives you the access to the outside and uh, it uh, removes my opportunity to keep you prime. So obviously that's the same thing that I just said in two ways, but it will, will certainly increase both your winning chances and uh, decrease my gallons. That's what I think. You, you're, not, you're not wrong, but it will be so easy for you to play behind me from there. Well, you still have the checker on the 24 point that's stopping but me. You, but you, you, can, you can point on me because you can bring that checker in from your 9, you can cover the 9 from your mid, and then you can attack me behind. So, this is, this is one of the reasons I decided I want to keep my one point anchor because I'm in the game till the end okay if you say so but I don't think you even have the timing to keep it okay I'll work on that Let's see. I'll work on that Let's problem 4-3 four, 4-3 three. Four, three. you're going to make the 3 point that's a good question, indeed. But seeing that you don't want to anchor, maybe I don't need to make the three points yet because you may still refuse anchoring next roll. I might change my game plan next roll. You don't know. Of course. <laughs> so technically, I think it's correct to make the three points, but uh, seeing uh, your move last turn, last roll, it will probably push me to not making the three point. And then is the question, where's my tree? And it should be this one. Because and I make the three point completely safe. And with the six prime, I have no danger of being hit. Okay, I mean, I have the danger of being hit, but it's not dangerous when I'm actually hit. So that's the play I'm... I will do, although 
I think that making the three point is technically better. Okay. I wanted you to make the three point because it helps my timing. Another thing that I didn't consider, but it's also right. So you didn't you didn't fall for my trap. That's why I went to the three point because you had so many pointing numbers. I didn't think you would pass the opportunity. What did I roll for one? So now you want me to hit you on the two off point, but I'm not going to do it. I left it there for you. Just play. Of course, I know, but now it's also not technically correct to do it, I would think. Now that's too fast for my liking. Could have been faster. Oh, that's nice. Here we go. Hmm. So, I'll start by making the three point. And then this is another obvious one, and this is another obvious one, because I don't even leave shots that way. Let's hope I fan. Oh, yes, baby. Well, I also like it. I have gammas in there then. It's okay. I know the risk I'm taking. When you go for the win, you can't be scared of the loss. Okay. Six two. Yeah, that looks like I'll either leave a shot or win a gammon. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. <laughs> You should have anchored on the 22 point in the first place. No, that's, that that's, that's an unlucky roll for me. Of course, but if you anchored on the 24 point, you would uh, have prevented it. Nah, I and now we can uh, even safely play this, which leaves 6-5, uh, six, six, leaving your double shot, because you have no board anymore. I need a six now. I can't break more. Five two. Well, it will do. Okay. You want six five? Is that what you want? I don't mind it. Now, technically, once again, I, I don't even require to be so fast cleaning this. Because even if you hit me, I'll still win the game. So I, I would consider taking two off. But uh, if you hit me, that does decrease also my gamma. So I'll still go with clearing the six point. But at this kind of position, I tend to consider taking checkers off instead of clearing a point. Because uh, even if you hit me, I'm not losing too much because I'll eventually still go around. I, I wouldn't have done that because you make it easier for me to stop killing my home board. You see, now 5-3. You, you don't... Uh, okay, you would have killed another point, but uh, if you kill another point or not, that's not too relevant, I would think. Well, now I'm taking two off, certainly. Oh. Oh. 
Here we go. You have one chance, one shot, one opportunity. You you think I'm Eminem? <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, I had my shot, but I missed it. And by the looks, it's going to cost you a gammon. Or maybe you get another one now. I won't be happy if it costs me a gammon. Oh. I've got to stay. I've got to stay. I wouldn't stay for a ton of reasons once again. I, I can't get home in time. I can't. I'm just run it out because you could also lose a backgammon if you stay. There we go. Okay. Come on. Here's my second uh -huh. shot. Yes, we got it. Okay. So maybe I can save the gammon now. Five, two, four, six, eight, nine. All right. Two, four, six. Uh, if you go past me, I'm still in trouble. Two, three, fours and sixes. Okay, I got a four. What do I do with the two? Oh, come on. You still have a shot. I've missed. Now now the gammon is real again. But at least you saved the back gammon. Yeah, but if you d if you don't roll double six, I've still got chance. Well, if you ran with the 5-4 that you had a few rows ago, you may have saved the government. Yeah, waiting for a shot is better though. Okay. <laughs> what PRs? That's uh, beautiful. Hey, even yours is not great, is it? Yeah, I said uh, plural, PRs. <laughs> but yours is some kind of a record, really. Don't don't worry about it. I can come back. Yeah, this uh, kind of move so in pretty are. Huh. And already gave me a tough decision. I blame you. I blame you when you didn't hit me with your three four. That's that's when my problem started. That's also probably where my PR got higher. Yeah, you see, you should have just, you should have just done it. I've missed you. Right, what do I want? Two, four, six, three, six, four, six, two. Not six, five. You can hit twice. I can and I will. 
I think it's right to do so. Or maybe not. Hmm. I would still hit Bice. Ah, they're, they're hitting twice. Yeah. I mean, I do want to win a gammon, so. Double one. Double one. Okay, so that's two of them, definitely. Three of them, four of them. I think you missed something. Yeah, what? Can you go back? This one. No. Can you go back again? You can hit me and make the one point. Nah. And nah. move the last one to the seven. I don't like. No, no, no. The one point, uh, don't need it now. No. You don't, but you do two things with it. You hit me another another checker and do the one point, which is uh, still a point. And uh, I'm with two on the bar, which means that I'm likely to be attacked more by you. So that, that's what I would play, at least. Ah. I, I really hate gaps in my prime. I like to make a solid prime. Okay, make your move. I just set my thoughts. No, I, I can see I can see the positives in what you're suggesting. I'm just I'm weighing it up. We've all got our own like styles and I much more would try to build a solid prime. That's just my style. But there's nothing wrong with what you're saying. I, I've got some numbers to to point on you. I'll, I'll follow your, your thinking. I don't disagree with it enough to ignore it. Double one again, that's bullshit. Man. <laughs> it's not funny, Kalen. <laughs> it's funny those you keep rolling double ones. Well, I'd rather something and else. If you roll double ones every row until the end, I will win the game. <laughs> Four and one. What do I do here? Four. And one diversification. Ah, you got me. Three and two. So the two is forced, which is okay because the three is not bad. Two and six again. What are you going to do now? you play the six <laughs> I, I think I'll just hit on the two point because nothing else stands out five and three five and three six and one Do I roll so many threes? And ones. And ones, I mean, sorry. It's the ones I'm I'm thinking of. Five 
tree. Uh, what can I do with this? Nothing. Nothing. It's like a doomed move. Huh. That looks so shit. But I don't think I have a better one, so... I do it. Okay, fair enough. Four and two. So, four. Hand. Two. You're leaving the shot? Ah, look at your home board. I'm not worried one bit. Okay. This way, your twos and ones are duplicated to cover your points. I like it. That's right. I agree on this one. Mm -hmm. Tough choice again for you. Should I break a tanker? No, it's opening up too many gamas for you. I've got so many shots though. You do, but you do it if I break the anchor too, and it's not nice. <sighs> Did you actually miss me? Yes. Good job. You think so? That's one of these games that I don't know how we can reach this position. But we actually have. And. You've got out of jail. You've definitely got out of jail there. Wow. Well, then I'll need you to roll double fives for me next roll. But once again, I don't have a better option. Four and two. Four and two. I mean, that's what I feel is more sensible. I'm also tempted to go loco. You know what I will do? I'll just make the three point. So that you keep your anchor. Yes, and make another home point board, which will be valuable in case you get a shot next row, which is likely if I hit you. I mean, if you make the three point, I have 6-2, which hits and covers, and still leaves a fly shot, and uh, double twos, which hits twice at covers, which is obviously my joker row. But uh, apart from these three rows, there's nothing that stands out, so that's why I would make the three point and maximize my winning in, in case, I mean, you maximize your winnings that way in case you actually hit me. That's what I think. Mm. But now, you know, 6-4, it's a hit and cover. 6-4 hits and covers once. I have two blobs. You still have a shot, which is... Yeah, but... but it's a four point board for me because only fives and twos then for for me work yeah now um i like your play but i'm going to stick with mine okay uh, i'm going to stick with mine. six five here we go this is more what i was thinking might happen you cover the right. two point but you will leave me a shot I still got a double shot. You do, but if you miss, I have better life after that. Yeah, I don't think I have 
on our move basically. Okay. Because everything else is a lot worse in my opinion. That's that's the kind of move that made me want to close the 14. Because I said you have some awkward big sixes after it. Well, you would have had uh, a double shot on a five point board if you had played my move. But that's also strong enough for you now. 2 1. Let me take away double three from you, because that's a joke at all. Double two, <laughs> nearly as bad. Six and one. Six. And one. So I block six and five now. I have to hit you at all cost. You do. Three one, three two, three six. Nope. One, one. Not this time. Oh, I can't cover. <laughs> you can't. Wait. Can I hit though? Wait, I want to change my mind. Um, I want to change my mind. Sorry. Um, let me change my mind. Yeah, yeah. Change your mind. Uh, I want to see what numbers I can duplicate for you. So, for example, if if I played this as my six and then this as my one, I'm duplicating twos. Plus, if you hit me, you're five primed. Whereas if you hit me on the three, you're only four primed. So. But uh, the entering three without hitting is strong enough for me and that way you also make my entering too strong so I would uh, stick with your first move or wait actually can you go back please I would uh, put uh, the one here on the six points and move the one from the 12 to 11 also because that way if I were to roll a 2-6 for example, then you get more shots next row, or even a 3-6, 3-5, okay 3-5 actually, with 3-6 I cover, but with 3-5 you get an additional fly shot, so I would play 12-6, 12-11. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. Oh, look now. Wait, wait, it's the wrong dice. Ah, okay. That's better. I know. The, <laughs> I know it's better. It's what I didn't want. Now I've only got one point to come in. You tricked me. You tricked me. You should have left me with my own thoughts. You. Well, it's always your wolf in the end, so... You tricked me. And now look at my position. Let's see what you roll for me. You used Jedi mind tricks on me. I'm the one who's supposed to be Jedi, not you. No, I did tell you that were my tricks, Sonia. Ah! Ah! That looks cool. Right, I need the same thing now. No, oh, the dice didn't roll properly. 5-4, that's not good enough. 
Right, if you roll what? 2 1, 3 1. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I double. Okay. Because. At this score, double, at this score, you'll still yes. double. Yes, if I double you, this means that uh, we play for the match at this game because you will redouble me immediately next row and uh, I think that uh, that's worth doubling because may actually maybe you shouldn't even take because okay I'll leave you the shot with 2-1, uh, 3-1 two, one, three, one, uh, 4-2 Four two, right? So that's uh, seven rows, and you still need to hit me after that. So I think I would double here, and it could well be a take for you because your take point is really low. But take it yourself. Yeah, hey, uh, look. We've been on for a while. I'm going to take it. Um, I'm going to take it. I, I don't think I should, but I will. Okay. I will. 2-1. Okay. <laughs> right, so now we do this. Double. Yeah, and I have to take it. And now we hope for something special. Nothing special in there. Nope. So now we're hoping for six one or five one. <laughs> you get another shot? Can I miss three shots? Come on, I've got to hit one of them. I've got to hit one of the shots. Maybe I made a mistake, but I already played it. So you get your shot at the five. If you roll a five. I was watching the the World Championship in Monte Carlo and uh, Victor Ashakanzi when he needed a, a double, he'd roll for a very long time, shake, 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 and then he gets double five. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Fuck's sakes. By your reaction, I thought you got it. But now, maybe you can just raise me out. Maybe. I would have, ra I would have rather hit you. But, yeah. Look now. Look now. Where's the race? You still got your chances. You're, you're three out of three today. Today's just your lucky day, man. As I said, you still may win it, so you just need to show some rolling skills. Well, uh, <laughs> okay, not anymore. I think. <laughs> you, I need the doubles. You get them. How's that fair? The I, I didn't want the double six. Wait, you can still win it. Roll one more. You can still do it actually. If, if you I wrote two one, two one, two one, two one. Wait, actually it doesn't matter if it's two one, it just matters that I have a one in there. What did I roll? Six one, okay. Now you now you gotta roll double fives or double sixes. Please do it for the show. Did you? No. No, okay. Well, that's me. Being three out of three to the day.
that's you being three out of three exactly well done um let's um let's revise some of the match there were there was one or two interesting plays um so let's have a look at them let's uh, first of all check the last three double can we do that first of all okay it's uh pass yeah as expected yeah um let me just uh, change the things on on obs because they are blocking the view. Yeah, 